So it was a random idea that I had. I heard on the radio that 10,000 people in Plymouth and other areas wouldn't get a Christmas dinner. And I thought, I wonder if we could do something about that. So practically then, how is it going to work? Because that's quite a challenge for you, I can imagine. I would say logistically, I'm about 60% there with how I think I can make it work. I think getting the funding and getting everyone to support it is the main thing. The second thing was to find people that needed it, um, which uh, Plymouth Community Homes is helping us with. And the third thing is for me to work out the logistics. So I'm almost there with that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, there's so many people already offering to help us. What is going to be inside the boxes? A main element. So that chicken or a vegetarian option and vegetables, fresh vegetables, and um, working with local suppliers. So there'll be some clotted cream, some mince pies. Going to get as much in there as we possibly can so that these families get a decent amount of food for their Christmas dinner. And what do you think it will mean for these families? This year has been so hard anyway. I don't think a lot of people have got a lot to celebrate this Christmas and, you know, people have lost loved ones or not been able to see their loved ones. And I think to provide at least some food on that day is the least we can do. Food brings people together and makes people feel better. And I think if we can do that one little thing, it, it's something. When do you have to hit the target by and how can people get involved if they want to? Um, so we've got 21 days to hit the target and uh, we're, we're getting close to halfway, which is amazing. And if anyone wants to donate, we are using Crowdfunder. 